Well, we're just thinking that it is officially, I know meteorologists start their record keeping on June right. 1st, but officially summer by the end of the week. Yeah, and Eric, that's about when things will start to look up again. <laughs> yeah, you know, this week a little bit on the unsettled side for sure, and a little bit cool for this time of the year as well. It's one that we have not had so far this year, any 90s. So is that unusual? Well, last year we had one 90 degree temperature in Boston so far. We have had an 88 and an 89 so far, but we had one. We know how the rest of the summer went. I don't expect this summer to be as hot as what we saw last summer. Today, 75 degrees. We've had a lot of 70s here recently. It's been a very typical month of June temperature wise. Beautiful sunset tonight. Had such a great cloud mix. This one sent in from Megan over on Lane Beach in North Weymouth this evening. And thanks for sharing. Just spectacular out there. Still very mild. Temperatures in in the 60s. Humidity is starting to creep up a little bit. The clouds starting to increase as well. And we're watching this setup. This is going to be a pretty tricky one for tomorrow, but I'm watching this line of downpours. The flow is basically due west, and this may just be able to inch up toward the south coast to bring in some downpours tomorrow. And it's watching the little fluctuations of this boundary over the next few days that will consume our forecast. But no real washouts are expected over the next few. So you will be able to get outside. As for tomorrow morning, a lot of cloud cover seeing a chance for some showers developing across the area but I think those heavier downpours are going to be right along the south coast or right offshore it's going to be a very close call otherwise it's just a couple of scattered showers some clouds and in the afternoon in the peak heating there could be a pop-up quick shower or downpour overall though again not a washout day and it'll be fairly mild in the low 70s so our best chance for maybe some heavier totals as far south as you could possibly get otherwise it's just some scattered generally lighter rain activity for us or a quick afternoon downpour. High temps, low 70s for most, some 60s toward the south coast and the Cape. And then as we look toward Wednesday, kind of a similar idea. A lot of clouds, not a ton of sunshine, and a slight chance for a pop-up afternoon shower downpour. Thursday, again similar, still battling some cloud cover. There'll be a chance for some late day downpours, and this is going to be with a more potent system. That will be our best chance for rain this week. It's late Thursday into early on Friday as that system moves through and that one could bring a chance for some thunder as well. Now compared to last week where we had very dry air, we had some fairly warm afternoons at times but really cool nights. This week all of our lows will be closer to 60 because dew points will generally be in the low 60s over the next several. So looking ahead to the very end of the week, looks like that Friday system would move through fairly quickly. So by the end of the day, we would be drying out for Friday evening plans. We'll be watching the trends there. Saturday looks excellent to start next weekend. Then on Sunday, we may get two in a row. Still a chance for some rain off toward the mid-Atlantic. We'll be watching to see if this tries to bump its way off to the north. Right now, it looks good. And that's solstice on Friday. Not going to be a hot summer day, but it will be the official start of summer. And of course, the max daylight for the year. Even though the day get gradually a little bit shorter. Temperatures go up as you head into July and August. So there's your full seven day and a lot of 70s across the board for this week. David and Lisa, back to you. Okay, Eric, thank you.